All right, so we have our list here. And I'm going to grab a couple of these. And so we are going to do some email finding and grabbing a couple of these owners' names. So we'll go over um, the whole process of just grabbing the owner's name and finding the email. It's a pretty simple process. Um, you can um, you know, make a quick video for your VA or just follow along in this video and um, couple little tools that we use. So I was just going to grab um, grab one of the name of the businesses right here. And so we could see um, this is the name of the business. I'm going to grab, I'm going to open up their website and uh, do a little digging now. So this is exactly what my virtual assistants do. They just kind of come to the first page, the second page, uh, open up a couple of these directories that we're familiar with. Um, so Buzzfile, um, build zoom stuff like that those are these are really kind of the ones that are the big directories um, and better business bureau so just having those three open and the website so what i do first thing is pretty much go to and about us if i can find it and so what i'm looking for is the owner's name and so right here we have shahin and that is the owners so i'm going to go ahead and put that in my sheet. Right, so got right here, put this in the sheet, and I got his name now. So um, we're gonna grab this website. Uh, that is the exact website. All right, so now we have the owner's name. And uh, I'm gonna go to contact us, just see if they have um, an email there. They do right there, so that was pretty dang easy. Um, and so you can do that right there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. So now um, we are all good on that one. So um, that's pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna go to another one. Um, I'm gonna just click any one of these that have the website. If they don't have the website, you can you know, enter the username or sorry, the company name and it'll go look for the website just the same like that. If it pulls up different ones, um, you know, AC Pros, HVAC is pretty popular, you know, name. So if it pulls up something different, um, you can always just type in Austin and then, you know, Texas with it as well. So uh, that's going to pull up that. Um, this looks like, you know, it's, it's, it's also a name. So it's pulling up some other stuff. I'm going to go back um, to here just so we have, um, I'm going to close all these out again. So we got Build Zoom and Buzz File. And all right, so now we're gonna open up this one and see if I can go uh, first page, second page, third page to see if we could get a Build Zoom um, Buzz File. And so um, you don't really have to look for this stuff unless, um, you know, if you already have found the information like we did on the website, it does not look like they have a Build uh, Zoom or um, Buzz File. Looks like there's a Manta. Okay, so um, right here we can see again, uh, we've got the, the email, um, that's that's pretty easy. So some people display their emails and some don't. Um, but if they do not, uh, let's go to the About Us. And we don't see the owner's name here. So oh, right here, our founder, Noah Franklin, okay? And so we have the info right here, um, and we have the owner's name, Noah, okay? But info may be blocked by a gatekeeper, for example. Um, and so we are gonna use a nifty little tool. Um, there's a couple of different tools out there. Um, one of my favorites is, it's called Snowvio. So you're just gonna go to Snowvio. Uh, so type in, grab this, put it in there, and you got Snowvio. Okay, uh, you come to pricing in here, and there's a couple other ones that are pretty well known. Uh, I just like this one. It's cheap, and I've tested it out. It's just as good as the other ones, and sometimes uh, my virtual assistants say it's even better than um, the, the other the other ones are out there. So, forty nine dollars a month will give you five thousand credits. Um, so that's one email. I'm pretty sure. Uh, 3,000 unique recipients. Um, this is for the, 
This also could do email dripping campaigns. So you could send emails from this as well. Uh, it's an email finder. You could do bulk emails. So if you scraped a bunch of um, websites, you could do bulk and this will go ahead and find up a bunch of emails. Um, and then it also does uh, email verification validation. Um, so it'll validate if the emails are good, um, which is cool. So it does a lot of cool features. Um, like I said, there's, there's a lot of other softwares out there. Uh, this is the one we use and it's one of my favorites. So, um, go check out their pricing page, sign up and, um, take it from there. And so it's pretty dang easy cause they give you a Chrome extension. Um, and so what we're going to do is we just click this right here and it says looking for emails and then boom, there we go. So super easy. The ones in the green are verified already. See, so if we hover over, it says email verified. This one says email not verified. So what it does is it grabs the email first and then it will verify it second. So now that we know we have info right here is the main email, right? But like I said, this might go to the gatekeeper. So very important um, that we're looking for the owner's name first, right? And then when we open this up, we found Noah, right? So Noah is the owner, goes straight to him. That's exactly the email I'm gonna be using um, if I wanted to cold email him or call, ask for Noah and then just say, hey, we have uh, Noah's email here, Noah at, um, and you know, confirm that with the gatekeeper and say, I have, instead of asking for the email, a lot of the times they won't give it to you. If you've already done your research and just say, hey, I have uh, Noah's email here. Um, is it Noah at acproshvac.com? And she'll say, yes, it is. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. And so that's uh, pretty simple there. So this is a quick short video. Um, this is exactly what we do. Let me do one more um, and see if I can grab one that doesn't have the email on the website whatsoever. Um, and I will just grab uh, Mist Cooling Systems and see if there is one with that. So I'm gonna go over here and uh, so I'm gonna open up mistcooling.com and see if this is the correct one. See if they're in Austin. I'm gonna close this one out. I'm gonna close this one out as well. And let's see, Miss Cooling. This might not be, so this is Brookshire. This is not the same one. So let's do Miss Cooling Systems Austin. All right, so now we got Mosquito, Miss Cooling Systems, Miss Cooling. Um, okay, so I think it's this one right here. All right, uh, this, let's see. So they are a home advisor. Um, I think this is, okay, so this is a manufacturer. I'm gonna go ahead and look for a different company uh, to not complicate this. Um, and so when you're scraping home advisor um, or any of the directories, it does pull from all types of different things. So it may not be exactly um, the one that you're looking for. Let me go ahead and search for a couple other ones. This is austingreenteam.net. So this looks like it's the Home Advisor one. Uh, they also have a Better Business Bureau here and then a buzz file as well. So that's always good. If they have other different directories and they're there, that means they've been, they've been around for a while. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, go to the About Us. And I'm going to go... All right, doesn't look like their website works. I'm gonna go meet our staff. All right, there we go. We got Trent as the owner and it says Trent at austingreenteam.net. Um, okay, so he's got his um, email as well. We got another owner, Jeremy. So we can um, email both of those as well. So um, these guys are making it a little bit too easy. Let me see if I could find one more. Um, See if we can do a little bit of digging because every single niche um, is a bit different. Uh, a lot of niches don't make it as easy where they display their emails. Um, this one's a little bit too easy. So let me see if I can do um, Bell. All right. So a lot of these guys have their uh, their names in the 
in the businesses. So it's pretty self-explanatory right there. His name is most likely Dell, um, but could be different. So, so you got Dell's heating, uh, 25 years experience, Dell's heating. Again, he made it too easy. We got a Yahoo there. Um, and I am going to, I'm going to do this real quick. Uh, I'm going to, um, let's do air conditioning. Actually, I'm going to do pest control, Las Vegas. Right. Now I'm going to grab, um, we found red rock pest. So that one's red rock pest. Let's see if we can um, grab this one since we had this one earlier. Um, this is a different niche and so we'll go into it, right? So pretty broad, just says red rock pest control. Um, I do not see um, an actual about us page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do red rock pest control. I'm gonna do owner. And we found Dustin owner. Okay, so now we have uh, Dustin is the owner. And then I'm gonna go up here and see if it finds any emails. Yep, it does. So now it pulled in service, Greg, Adam, uh, Dustin, James, Jeff Blum, John, Michelle, Stan. So you can see that these are not verified, um, but we do have right here, we have the owner's name as well as we have the big list of all of the emails. So um, service is probably not the best one because that probably goes to, um, you know, the intake person, whoever's taking these emails. But if we want to get a hold of the owner, even though it says it's not verified, we can send an email to Dustin and see if it bounces back. And if it doesn't, it probably got most likely to him. Um, we also use, you know, tracking emails, track clicks, all that kind of good stuff. So therefore, we know it kind of got to him and maybe he clicked one of our landing pages or something. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, very easy, straightforward, um, searching with owner, um, searching the Yelp, searching the buzz, um, what was it? Buzz file, uh, build zooms, better business bureaus, Yelp reviews, all that kind of good stuff. You're looking for the owner's name. And then as far as grabbing the emails, it's pretty straightforward. We just use this nifty tool here and it does a lot of the hard work for us.